Welcome to Google Analytics Fundamentals Training. Today we are going to learn what is Google Analytics and how Google Analytics can help businesses make concrete decisions based on the user data behavior. What is Google Analytics? It is a free web analytics service that provides statistics and basic analytical tools for search engine optimization, which is called as SEO, and marketing purposes. The service is available to anyone with a Google account. Its features include data visualization tools, segmentation for analysis of subsets such as conversions, custom reports, email-based sharing and communication, integration with other Google products such as AdWords, Public Data Explorer, and Website Optimizer. Let's take a look at the Google Analytics Quick Glossary. This will help us later to understand what each of these terms mean. Dimensions. A dimension is a descriptive attribute or characteristic of an object that can be given different values. Browser, exit page, screens, and session duration are all examples of dimensions that appear by default in Google Analytics. Metrics. Metrics are individual elements of a dimension that can be measured as a sum or a ratio. Screen views, pages per session, and average session duration are examples of metrics in Google Analytics. Sessions. A session is the period of time a user is actively engaged with your website, app, etc. within a date range. All usage data, screen views, events, e-commerce, etc. is associated with a session. Users. Let's define who the users are. Users who have had at least one session within the selected date range includes both new and returning users. Page views. Page views mean the total number of pages viewed. Repeated views of a single page are counted. Pages per session. Pages per session, that is the average page depth, is the average number of pages viewed during a session. Repeated views of a single page are counted. Average session duration. The average length of a session. Bounce rate. Bounce rate is the percentage of single page visits, that is visits in which the person left their site from the entrance page without interacting with the page. New sessions. An estimate of the percentage of first time visits. Goals. Goals let you measure how often users take or complete specific actions on your website. Conversions. Conversions are the number of times goals have been completed on your website. Campaigns. Also known as custom campaigns, allow you to add parameters to any URL from your website to collect more information about your referral traffic. Acquisition. Acquisition is how you acquire users. Behavior. Behavior data helps you improve your content. Let's take a look at the Google Analytics homepage. What do you find there? If you have a lot of websites, you can use the search box under the date range to search for a particular domain. If you only want to view the domains that are most critical to your business, you can mark them with a star and change the show settings to list only the starred websites. The screenshot here below will give you a date range from which you can view the different metrics such as sessions, average session duration, bounce rate, goal conversions, etc. These data would be available for different websites that you run for your business.
You can use the date range to see your data over any specified time period. You can also use it to compare the current time period to a previous time period to see the change in sessions, average session duration, bounce rate, and goal conversion rate. To view more about a particular website, just click on the corresponding link and you will see the Google Analytics reporting page. Let's take a look, look at the dashboard, how the Google Analytics reporting works. On the left sidebar, there is a search box to help you find specific reports and a list of links to important areas of your Google Analytics. It contains the dashboards, the shortcuts, the intelligent events, the real-time data analysis, the audience behavior analysis, the acquisition analysis, the audience behavior and conversions. Let's take a look at how the dashboard of Google Analytics reporting looks like. Or what is a dashboard to begin with? Dashboards allow you to create customized views of your Google Analytics data using widgets. It's a great way to see specific subsets of data without having to navigate through your standard reports. You can add widgets to your dashboard using the plus add widget button or by adding widgets as you browse your standard reports using the add to dashboard link. A dashboard would give you a one single snapshot summary of how the user behavior data you are receiving and it gives you a top level view of what you can do with this data. Shortcuts using for Google Analytics reporting. Shortcuts are the links to your favorite Google Analytics reports. It is available on the left hand side of the dashboard. Whenever you are viewing a specific piece of data in Google Analytics that you want or need to revisit often, click on the shortcut link above it. This places it in your shortcuts menu for future reference. Intelligence Events Google Analytics Reporting What is this report all about? Intelligence events are alerts you can set up within Google Analytics that email you when a specific event occurs. You can set up alerts for events like a dramatic change in the number of sessions, goal conversions, or other metrics within a daily, weekly, or monthly time frame. If you look at the snapshot, you would find the automatic alerts and custom alerts sections. You get to choose the metric, for example, per session goal value. You get to choose a segment that is all traffic or by country, for example, India. You can choose the period by weekly, daily. You can choose the date range and then you would get the final output. Real-time events Google Analytics reporting. The real-time data gives you access to the data instantly. You can see current visitors, page views, active pages, locations, and more. On the right-hand side, you can see currently there are two active users on the site. Both of them active users are coming from the desktop. What are the top referral sites? What is the top social traffic? What are the top keywords? And which are the top active pages that is being viewed? Thank you.